Studies show that up to 40% of our happiness is determined not by our external circumstances, but by our daily activities and the habitual workings of our brain. What if you could change that percentage by rewiring your brain for joy? In our quest for happiness, we often look outside, believing that the next achievement, purchase, or milestone will be the key. Yet, what if the true path to enduring happiness lies within the very fabric of our minds? Today, we're delving into the science of neuroplasticity and how simple exercises can transform our brain's wiring to significantly boost our happiness. And stay tuned, because by the end of this video, I'll share exclusive tips that could turbocharge this transformation, exceeding what you thought was possible. Envision your brain as a garden, not just any garden, but as a fertile, untapped expanse, brimming with the potential for extraordinary growth and beauty. This isn't a barren plot of land, but a vibrant ecosystem, pulsing with life and awaiting your careful attention. Here, amidst the rich soil of your mind, lies the opportunity to cultivate an oasis of joy, serenity, and fulfillment. But as in any garden, vigilance is key. Weeds of negativity, left unchecked, can quickly overrun this tranquil space, suffocating the delicate blooms of positivity that strive to flourish. Just as weeds can take over a garden if not carefully managed, negative thought patterns can dominate your mind. These are not just fleeting thoughts. They're like vines wrapping around your brain's pathways, reinforcing themselves each time they're activated. Now, imagine these weeds growing thicker and spreading further each day, overshadowing the vibrant flowers and plants that represent your joy, creativity, and positivity. Without intervention, these weeds can become so dense that they block out the sunlight, preventing new growth and stifling the beauty that lies beneath them. This garden analogy isn't just a metaphor, it's a reflection of how our neural pathways work. Our brains tend to strengthen connections we use frequently, and if those connections are negative, they can become the default pathways, making it harder to experience positive thoughts and emotions. You must choose which plants to water and which to uproot. This doesn't just temporarily brighten your mood, it fundamentally changes the garden of your mind. Fostering flowers of positivity, where weeds of negativity once thrived. Ever find yourself stuck in a loop of negative thoughts? It's like being trapped on a dark, endless carousel that spins you through the same gloomy scenery over and over again. This relentless cycle can feel inescapable as if your brain has mapped out a route that leads nowhere but down. Imagine each thought as a track on a well-worn road. Every time you travel down the same road, you deepen the ruts, making it more likely you'll go down that path again. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more you tread this path, the more entrenched it becomes, guiding your future thoughts and emotions along this familiar yet destructive route. But what if you could break free? What if, instead of being confined to this one dismal path, you could construct an entire network of roads, each leading to vistas of positivity and hope? Imagine the freedom of choosing a different path, one lined with gratitude, joy, and contentment, rather than the well-trodden roads of worry and despair. Gratitude journaling acts as a construction crew for your brain, building new positive pathways. This simple practice can shift your focus and drive your thoughts down new, healthier roads, making happiness not just a destination but a journey you're actively constructing. Feeling like change is out of reach, it's as if you're standing at the base of a colossal mountain, looking up at the peak, thinking it's too high, too steep, too insurmountable. This mountain represents the change you seek, but from where you're standing, the summit seems shrouded in clouds, obscured by the daunting journey ahead. Now, consider how water shapes the landscape through persistence and gentle pressure, not through force. Over centuries, the softest streams transformed the hardest stones, carving canyons and valleys into the earth, demonstrating nature's quiet power. Your brain responds similarly to the consistent, gentle pressure of positive change. Just as water doesn't erode rock with brute force, but with persistent flow, positive changes in your life don't need to be monumental to be effective. Small, steady actions can reshape your mental landscape over time, 
carving out new paths of thought and behavior that lead to the summit of your personal growth. Engaging in new learning experiences or hobbies stimulates neurogenesis, the creation of new brain cells, and forges new neural pathways. This isn't just about acquiring a new skill or hobby. It's an investment in the architecture of your happiness, proving that you can teach an old dog new tricks. Now that we've ventured through the transformative power of neuroplasticity, let's dive deeper into the essence of compounding positive actions, similar to the miracle of compound interest in wealth building. Investing small, consistent efforts into neuroplasticity exercises can exponentially amplify our joy and contentment over time. But how do we begin this journey? Here are some actionable steps to integrate into your daily routine. 1. Daily Happiness Reflections Each morning, take a moment to write down one small action you can take that day to bring joy to yourself or someone else. It could be as simple as enjoying a cup of tea in silence or sending a gratitude message to a friend. This practice sets a positive tone for your day, focusing your brain on seeking out happiness. 2. New Pathways Challenge Challenge yourself each week to break a routine in a small way. Take a different route to work, try a new food, or listen to a genre of music you usually skip. These minor changes can stimulate your brain's plasticity, encouraging the development of new neural pathways and enhancing your adaptability and creativity. 3. Mindful Movement Incorporate a form of movement that requires mental engagement, such as dance, martial arts, or yoga. These activities are not only physical exercises, but also mental ones, demanding focus, presence, and adaptability, thereby nurturing both body and brain. 4. Creative Expression Hour Dedicate an hour each week to purely creative endeavors, free from judgment or goals. Whether it's painting, writing poetry, playing an instrument or gardening, Engaging in creative activities fosters neuroplasticity by encouraging innovative thinking and emotional release. 5. Digital Detox Sessions Schedule short, regular intervals where you disconnect from all digital devices. Use this time to engage with the world directly, enhancing your sensory experiences and reducing the mental clutter associated with constant connectivity. 6. Nature Immersion Make a point to spend time in nature regularly, even if it's just a walk in a local park. Natural environments have a profound effect on the brain, reducing stress, enhancing mood, and improving cognitive function. 7. Acts of Kindness Calendar Keep a calendar where you plan one act of kindness each week. This could range from volunteering for a local charity to helping a neighbor. Acts of kindness enrich others' lives, and significantly boost your own happiness by reinforcing positive social connections. By integrating these steps into your life, you're not merely changing your brain. You're embarking on a journey to transform your entire existence. Start small, embrace consistency, and allow the beauty of compound interest in neuroplasticity to unfold. If you found value in the video, please leave a like and consider watching this video next.